in this session i'll be going to discuss gun diode and this gun diode is also referred to as transferred electron diode so in short it is even called as ted transferred electrons diode device so here in this session this is what session outline where i'll be going to explain what is symbol of gun diode and then we'll see some basic information regarding gun diode and then i'll be explaining you what is there which is there with internal structure of gun diode and then we see we'll be observing what is the characteristic of gun diode and at the end of this session we'll be concluding this session with gun effect so let us initiate this session with a basic symbol which is there with gun diode so gun diode basic symbol that is this where this symbol indicates gun diode where you can say this is anode and this is cathode so here in gun diode symbol is bidirectional but uh, actually it is not a bidirectional device but symbol seems like bidirectional so this is what symbol of gun diode now let us try to understand some basic information which is there regarding gun diode so if we see this gun diode working then this gun diode that basically work based on gun effect so it is working based on gun effect this diode is been discovered by jb gun in 1962 so it is discovered by jb gun in 1962 basically when we work with gun diode we are deal with to use its negative resistance characteristic so it offers negative resistance characteristic so as it offers negative resistance characteristics as it offers negative resistance characteristic we can use this gun diode in high frequency applications like we can use that in microwave so basically we use gun diode in microwave so it is used in microwave applications some basic applications are like oscillator or we can use that in radar generator so it is been used in oscillator or radar generator which is there in microwave applications basically it is made up of gallium arsenide if we see its structure then it justifies like it is not a normal pn junction diode where we observes it is not based on pn junction so it is not based on pn junction if we see its internal structure then it shows it is made up of only n type layer but there are few layers which is highly doped which is called as n plus and few layers of n which is lightly doped that is refers to have n layer so it is only based on n layer now because of it is only based on n layer 
it has majority carrier as electrons. So, due to it has only n layer, it has electrons as majority carrier. So, this is what the basic information which is there regarding gun diode. So, it is working based on gun effect that we will be observing after explanation of characteristic. It has been discovered by J B Gunn in 1962 and based on his name, uh, this diode's name is called as gun diode. It offers negative resistance characteristic, because of that we use that in microwave applications. The reason is negative resistance characteristic offers extremely less reverse recovery time that is why we can use that diode at very high frequency such as microwave frequency. We do not use silicon material in the structure of gun diode, it is made up of gallium arsenide. It is not based on p n junction, only n layers are used. So, it has electrons as a majority carrier and because of here we are deal with to work out with electrons transfer in gun diode this gun diode even refers as transferred electrons device. Now, let us move on to third point which is what internal structure of gun diode. So, if we see internal structure of gun diode, then this is gun diode which is what we can use that in microwave where we can see the basic structure that is been covered by this ceramic cover and inside here n layers are there that is made up of gallium arsenide and contacts are provided and heat sink is available over here. So, this is the basic structure which is there with gun diode that has been utilized in microwave, but to understand what is there which is there with its operation. So, for that we need to have this basic structure which is what giving little bit idea about what is there with its, in, its internal structure. So, if we see this internal structure, it is made up of n layers only. Here, we are having metal contacts, 2 n plus layer means it is highly doped layer and 1 n layer which is very small that is sandwiched in between 2 n plus layer. And because of amount of power dissipated over here, there is a need of heat sink which is what provided over here. So, that we can have cooling operation of this gun diode. So, this is what there with its internal structure where 2 n plus layer are there and n layer is been sandwiched in between 2 n plus layer. Usually this gun diode that is made up of gallium arsenide, but if we see some other materials even could be utilized to have a fabrication of gun diode, those materials could be germanium, it could be indium arsenide, it could be indium antimonide or it could be zinc selenide ZNS. So, it could be zinc selenide, it could be indium antimonide, it could be indium arsenide or germanium. Basically, when we fabricate uh, this gun diode and if we have applications such as those applications which is having microwave frequency, in that case we can use indium arsenide, indium antimonide or gallium arsenide. So, these are the material which is what used in the range of frequency that is there in 3 to 10 gigahertz. So, if we have such applications where frequency of operation that is there in the vicinity of 3 to 10 gigahertz where we utilize these materials, but if frequency is there below 1 gigahertz in that case we can use this gallium material or we can use this zinc selenium. So, this is there in operation of frequency which is below 1 gigahertz. So, this is there with internal structure where we can observe only n layer is there. So, majority carrier is electron in this and lightly doped n layer is sandwiched in between two highly doped n layer. 
and during operation of this we observe there is uh, heat generation so that could be cooled down and for that there is heat sink which has been provided as we can see that in, in its internal structure now let us move on to characteristic of gun diode so here i'll be going to explain characteristics of gun diode so as if we see this in that case initially what happens when we keep this gun diode in forward bias means anode is positive with respect to cathode so if anode is positive with respect to cathode and initially if we increase voltage current will increase linearly up to threshold and it will reach up to peak point and then after after threshold if we further increase voltage then current will start to decrease and it will decrease up to valley point and then further it will be increasing linearly with increase in voltage so here if we see this portion so in this portion if voltage is increased in that case current is getting decrease so we can say this is what negative resistance characteristic this is what negative resistance characteristic so here as if we increase voltage current is getting decrease now let us try to understand how those things are happening so initially as if we increase voltage electric field strength is getting increase and if electric field strength is increasing mobility of electrons which is getting drifted from cathode to anode means resultant current that is there from anode to cathode that is positive so in this region mobility mu that is rate of change of drift velocity with respect to electric field so that is positive so mu is positive up to peak point and this peak point is called as threshold of material so what has what happens is as we increase voltage initially due to mobility is positive drift velocity will increase with respect to increase in electric field so current is getting increase as voltage is increasing but once it reaches to peak point mobility is getting mobility is getting negative means it starts to decrease so here mu will become negative in this region so what happens is like after threshold electric field mobility is getting decrease so drift velocity will get reverse so because of that that mobility mu will be minus dvd by de so as we increase voltage means as we increase electric field drift velocity will start to decrease that is resulting into negative mobility and this point that is called as threshold point where voltage is threshold voltage and electric field is threshold electric field so here drift velocity is getting reverse and because of that it offers negative resistance characteristic and that reversal of drift velocity from positive to negative that is called as gun effect and because of that gun effect this gun diode is offering negative resistance characteristic and because of this negative resistance characteristic gun diode offers very less reverse recovery time and because of less reverse recovery time we can utilize gun diode in high frequency applications like we can use that in microwave applications thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel and if any query is there then place that below in comments definitely i will try to solve it out thank you so much for watching